Jim Waller, yes, just we like are, everybody friend. else. That did. has nothing to do with this. This is getting totally out of oh, hand. Oh, it's getting totally hey, out of hey, hand. Come on, you got a stinking problem? Hey, you got a stinking problem? Oh, man, you feel all the Hey, Armstrong. Coming up here a little bit later, Dave. You're exactly right. Big news. Brian Christopher, the new USWA heavyweight champion. He ended a four-month reign of Billy Jack Haynes by winning the title this past week. It was agreed right here last uh, last week. Doug Gilbert stepped aside in the match with the stipulation that he would get a little cash and also he would get the first return match. And I'm happy to announce to you that promoter Eddie Marlin has booked that return match today right here. Doug Gilbert against Brian Christopher, USWA heavyweight title at stake. Be on the line. I'll be a son of a gun if we haven't got a lot of news happening too. Hey, what was this thing with Corey? That crazy Armstrong gets out there Armstrong. and jumps uh, Corey right out here well, on television. No doubt about it. I, I last week recommended that uh, uh, Armstrong be suspended. Corey said he would like, uh, you know, to maybe have a chance to get even with him a little bit later on. But uh, anyway, the committee has met and the committee decided uh, Armstrong will not be at television today. He's suspended for te from television for one day as a result of putting his hands on Corey last week. Well, that was a very good decision. I'll guarantee you that. And I go along with that suspension 100%. Big news coming up on a tag team battle. Battle Royal. That's going to be interesting and fun to talk yeah, about. Yeah, this is going to be huge. It has a really interesting prize. We'll be talking about it a little bit later yes. on. Okay. And we've got plenty of other action that's going to be rolling right in here. We will uh, have a little VTR on uh, Lawler and Armstrong. And also, we are going to be seeing a lot of other things. A brand new team, Techno Team 2000. They're coming in mm -hmm. here with a big reputation behind them. Tell you what we better do. Get ready for it and see if we can't get ourselves off to a break and we'll be back with the action getting underway. Please. Here we go with our opening bout today on USWA Wrestling. One ball with a 10 minute time limit. 219 pounds wrestling out of Memphis, Tennessee. T.D. Steel. And his opponent today, 281 pounds, wrestling out of Portland, Oregon. He is the former USWA heavyweight champion, Billy Jack Haynes. One ball, 10 minutes in time. The official referee is Bill Rush over to Lance Russell, along with Dave Brown. Billy Jack, TD Steele, we, uh, they have met one other time and it was right here on television. That was a couple of months back. And I'm not sure that I envy TD with Billy Jack having just dropped that strap to Brian Christopher. This may end up being a bad day for TD. Uh oh, yeah. Here they go, Dave. Well, a little bit of indication as Billy Jack Haynes first tosses his cap out of the ring and now goes after TD Steele. Look out. Oh, goodness. TD Steele. Finding himself in trouble very early in the match against the former heavyweight champion. He's got fear running up and down here. You see it right there on the side of his tights. I'll tell you, Brian Christopher didn't have much fear as he took the USWA heavyweight title away from Billy Jack a few days ago. And Billy Jack Haynes still obviously upset about it. Has to be a great satisfaction for Brian to uh, be able to get that title back because he was getting frustrated after being injured in uh, the uh, bout with Billy Jack Haynes. He was out with that shoulder blade injury and coming back and being able to get that title back. Not only congratulations, but it, I know it's got to be a warm feeling for him to be able to pick that one back up. And Billy Jack, just the opposite. He is a furious camper right now. He's working on TD. Snaps him off that top rope. Don't forget, big news of the day, we have a USWA heavyweight title match right here on television today when Brian Christopher, by previous agreement, will be meeting Doug Gilbert for that title. We're looking forward to that. And Billy Jack stomping away on TD. 
flips around behind and he's telling the crowd out there it looks like I'm going to finish him right here and now. TD. Waist lock into a full Nelson. Picks him up. Drives the head down into the mat and he's still holding on to the waist lock. That's going to be it. Billy Jack Haynes will be the winner in that match. And actually, TD, who is a rugged competitor, uh, really wasn't able ever to get out of the block, Dave. That's true. He uh, was just stopped almost instantly by Billy Jack Haynes as the bell sounded. And uh, TD, uh, TD could uh, never recover. Billy Jack trying to get uh, the crowd to applaud his victory, but the crowd uh, sees it a different way. They're not big fans of Billy Jack Haynes. And here he is stalking around. We're going to give the former champ an opportunity to come over to the mic, have a little conversation about uh, dropping that prize title that he had to Brian Christopher. And, uh, well, I don't know whether we're going to go into it or not. His mood is not one of the best today as if it is um, any particular day. There he is, the former USWA heavyweight title holder who will be in line for another title shot at some point. But of course, the title shot that we have today was one that by previous agreement was already set up. And so Brian Christopher will be meeting Doug Gilbert for that title right here today. Billy Jack. You know, if we all watch the NFL, <laughs> I'm like the San Francisco 49ers. Every once in a while, there is a fluke, and you get beat. I said before, Brian's a tough guy. Gilbert's tough. He got Lawler's been here for 25 years. Is tough. I defended this title for damn near three months, and he held it. Now, where is my title shot today? Right in the middle of the ring today. Where is my title Billy shot? Jack, you know, I hope that that arrangement with Doug Gilbert was made before the title match between you and Brian Christopher ever took place. It was already set up. Nobody's trying to do you in. You'll be in line and you will get your title shot. But Doug Gilbert gets the first shot at that title. Okay, I can't. I can't go with the politics in this territory of the USWA, but. For 14 years, I was master of the full Nelson, and I'm not out to please none of you freaks at all. This is for me. You're going to see a different breed of Billy Jack Haynes. From now on, I'm going to have a submission hold, my full Nelson, and you better have an ambulance parked out of here, every TV and every town that Billy Jack Haynes is in, because I'm going to break some necks and take them out in an ambulance. You understand me, old man? We'll take a break and we'll be back here. This guy, absolutely, you wonder about him sometimes. He just flat loses it. That's all there is to it. Now you've won the match and just take it out. We're going to take a break. And we're not going to be in here listening to any more of that. Well, I um, never cease to amaze at how much fury can be pinned up in one body, and this guy is full of it. He is worse now than I believe I've ever seen him, and he's always been bad, talking about Billy Jack Haynes. And now claiming he's going to come out with a full Nelson, and he's going to hurt people, as, as if he already has not been hurting people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we talk about broken shoulders and a little bit of everything else there. We, uh, we had a match uh, a few days ago, which uh, was also one with a lot of interest, with Jesse James Armstrong. Yes. Going against the King, unified title was at stake. Interesting goings on, especially toward the end of all of this. We've got some highlights. I didn't see it. I'd love to right now. Boy, catches him with a right hand that time. Staggers the King and takes him down. Jesse James Armstrong. Putting it on Jerry the King Lawler. Drops the boot down on the King. Armstrong laying it in a Lawler and a little celebration from Jesse James Armstrong. Jerry the King Lawler on his feet. Armstrong better not be 
celebrating too early. Lowell is not giving it up as easily as Armstrong thinks he is. He's got something over there. No, we don't have a new champion, Baxter. Brendan Baxter, I tell you, this guy, take about a little bit of his gravy to go all over my plate. Armstrong slams Lawler right into the top turnbuckle. Referee Bill Rush warning him that got to stay off of him over there. Here in the 12-minute mark now in this unified world heavyweight title round. Jesse James Armstrong swings and nails Lawler with a big right hand. Armstrong chops down on the king. Boy, look at him go to work on here. Look at Baxter over there. Come on, Brandon Baxter. Stay out of it, Baxter. Brandon Baxter putting his two cents in. As the unified world title bout continues between Lawler and Armstrong, referee Bill Rush warns Jesse James Armstrong as he's choking Jerry over there on the middle rope. That's exactly what he's doing. Armstrong running from the other side. He misses. He misses. Lawler gets out of there. The King gets out of the way. Armstrong misses. The strap about to come down from Jerry Lawler, and it does. Look at Jesse James Armstrong. Look at the king go. Jerry Lawler nails Armstrong with a big right hand. Oh, man. Right in the referee, Bill Rush. What in the world? I'm strong. Coming to ring apron over there. After knocking referee Bill Rush down, Foxy puts her on the ring. I'm strong misses. He misses as he comes off the rope. Lola's got him covered. Rush is down and Foxy jumps in. Uh-oh. Jared Lawler on his feet. Baxter crosses a chain to Armstrong. What has he done? Baxter hit Not sure it's the wisest thing you ever did, but you can see the fans' reaction, and I certainly understand you want to get an Armstrong and Brandon Baxter too, and especially, yeah, yeah. How about that video we just saw here, Mr. Baxter? Better watch yourself around here, huh? I want to start off by saying this has been just another one of those weeks. Let me say that I am sick and tired of the USWA. I am sick and tired of this place. A TV studio, we've been here for about, you've been here for about the last 30 years in the same TV studio. The USWA's in a rut, isn't it? You, you old man, and Lance Russell together, probably equal about 200 years old. This ring has been here for about the last 50 years. I am so sick and tired of it. Let's talk about my first day here. What happens? Randy Hale takes my guts. What else happens? You hate my guts too. Lance Russell, from the very first day I was here, started knocking me. The whole USWA is against Brandon Baxter. And now, what happens? 
You have a conspiracy. You put it all together, and I'm sucker punched by a moron like Corey Macklin. He's not too far away. Be careful. He may come out here after you again. And he doesn't want to have to do that. You need to stay there and just listen to what I have to say, because I'm just a little bit hot at you right now. This week, he's cost me all kinds of money. I had to go to the dentist. I had to get a cap put on my tooth from that sucker punch he gave me. And I'm not going to put up with that. I beat up Miss Texas. I beat up Brandy Hale. I beat up Jimmy Valiant. And now I guess I'm going to have to do it to Corey Macklin, huh? Is that what it is? Well, I guess so. And I guess that's what I'll do. But right now, there's two guys in the ring who are about to get slaughtered by the team of the future. The future tag team champions. PG-13, watch out because I'm bringing to you Techno Team 2000. Troy and Travis, let's go, boys. Techno Team 2000. Yeah, we've heard of them. We've heard of their reputation. Here they come right here in the USWA for our first look at them on TV today. Well, they don't even stop to say hi. They just head for the ring. Corey, let's go to you for the introduction. Okay, Dave, we're ready, buddy. We're ready here. Tag team action. One ball, a 10-minute time I'm at. First introducing, at a combined weight of 374 pounds, wrestling from Millington, Tennessee, Charlie Laird, and his partner from Memphis, Chris Frazier. Their opponents today, at a combined weight of 468 pounds, the team from the future, Eric Troy and Travis, Techno Team 2000. One ball, 10 minutes in time. Bill Rush is referee. We're ready to go to Lansing Day. A couple of big boys, Troy and Travis, and they come in with quite a reputation as being outstanding athletes, but with some new wrinkles and new holes and things like that. We'll see. It's Troy starting out. Brandon, will you let us have a word? Oh, no, headlocks, hammerlocks, and moves like that. This is the team of the future. I need to sit here and describe this match for you. You understand that big nose? Yeah, well, that'll be hardly real. Right. Right. You understand me, nose? Look at that. Troy in on him. Chris Frazier taking a big elbow yeah, right big there elbow from right Troy. Right I'm telling and you, these are the next tag team champions. PG-13, so watch out. We got your absolute word and promise on that. Now, they're going to have to beat them before they're the TV and, uh, tag team champions. Well, we're starting right now. We're beating on these two young folks. We're going to go through the competition until we get a title shot. Big chicken wing takeover as uh, Travis took Chris Frazier, who is no lightweight by any means. He's had a few too many hamburgers the last couple of days, as is obvious. A little double teaming with Troy from the outside off the ring apron, snapping Frazier's head down. Charlie Laird trying to get in. Charlie trying to get in, but being sent back to the corner by referee Bill Rush. Meanwhile, your Techno Team 2000 looks like they're Double Team 2000. Well, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's called strategy. It's called being the future of professional wrestling. This is what you people have to look forward to. Well, that's, that's your vision of the future, and that's the team. Two against one, I guess. Have these two guys here had any offense at all in this match? Any at all? Answer. They haven't gotten off the ground yet. There's no doubt that Troy and Travis is dominant. Obviously, they're on the ground, moron. You understand? Oh, 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 oh. Gracious goodness. Lord. Keep in mind, too, fans, this is not PG-13 they're going against. Not to take anything away from Charlie and Chris, but they're, they're wrestlers who are, are not uh, exactly the same as PG-13 will be when these guys run into them. Sailed off that turnbuckle with a flying elbow, and Charlie Laird took the brunt of it. Tag goes to Travis. Techno Team 2000, a product of Brandon Baxter. That says a lot right there. That means they are championship material, or I would not have a thing to do with them in that right now. Big drop kick. Yeah. Drop kick. Doesn't look like a brand new move to me. It looks like a drop kick. Huh? Oh, there we are. Oh, what that was. Count of one, two, three. Well, the techno team ends up looking pretty doggone good there, but uh, again, Keep in mind, they're not wrestling PG-13 today, wrestling Charlie Laird and Chris Frazier. They get Charlie for the pin. We've seen some good moves from them, there's no doubt about it, uh, in, uh, in that match. Uh, they 
Tigers come away with a victory. There's a double iron five for Brandon Baxter, their manager, who has brought the team in to the USWA. Yeah, and uh, Mr. 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 Baxter with some more business here. Do you understand me? I wish I was finished with you. The last couple of weeks, I've seen a lot of these videos the USWA's put together. Sid Vicious, Jerry Lawler, Brian Christopher. Well, what I've given to the producer is a video of the toughest man in the world, and that just so happens to be Brandon Baxter. And I want it shown right now. Roll it. Roll it. This ought to be good for a while. the day I was born, the nurses all gathered around. They gazed in wide wonder at the joy they had found. The head nurse spoke up, said, leave this one alone. She could tell right away that I was bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Career highlights of Brandon Baxter. Right yeah. Tori Macklin, if you want to step in the ring with this, it is all over with for you, young man. Brandon Baxter, career highlights ran less than a minute. We'll be back in just a moment. You know, last week, Randy Hills told me that I would be the first one to get the title shot. So he is a man of his word, and I am getting it. Today, Brian Christopher, like it or not, it's me and you once again. <laughs> and here it is, a USWA heavyweight title bout sanctioned by the USWA right here on TV today. One ball with a special television time of 30 minutes for this USWA heavyweight title bout. Bill Rush is the official referee for this bout. Two sexy Brian Christopher wrestling in out of Memphis, Tennessee at 225 pounds. The champion and defending his title against dangerous Doug Gilbert. Gilbert wrestling out of Lexington, Tennessee at a weight of 242 pounds. We're ready to go, buddies, Lance and Dave. This is a USWA heavyweight title bout. Boy, what a dandy this one is, Dave. Previously, when these guys have met and Gilbert wasn't as well received as he is right now, we said at that time and have no reason to change it that these are throwback matches to the days of Dundee and Lawler. I don't take any of that back. These guys really get after each other, and I'm looking forward to this one today. It ought to be a good one. Also, remember, fans, Doug Gilbert is a former holder of this belt. It's not like this is the first time he's been looking at it. Of course, Brian Christopher held the belt for a long, long time, but ended a four-month reign, almost four-month reign. Uh, Billy Jack Haynes, just days ago. And here's the return, as Brian promised last week. First defense would be against dangerous Doug Gilbert. Here it is. This, uh, when Doug took his jacket off, it reminded us uh, that he is wearing what is like a, not a body cast that you think of from the neck down to the ankle, but this is where he was injured by Tracy Smothers with that Confederate flag staff that he was hammered in the rib when uh, he was serving as a special referee. And Doug Gilbert still wanted this match, even though he is not at 100%. See as the match goes on, whether it's going to affect him or not, Dave. Well, something like that move he just put on Brian Christopher, it has to hurt when he slows down a little bit. When the adrenaline's pumping, everything is fine, but those ribs right. are going to hurt, and he's wearing that uh, a rib belt, I guess. That's, that's what they used to call them when you, uh, you kind of cinch those ribs up, and, and you have to go on. A lot of folks have had to do that, I know. And if you've ever had injured ribs, you know what kind of pain you can be in. Doug Gilbert is going to have to be thinking about that, whether he wants to or not. And that could, uh, that could hurt him in the match here. Brian Christopher said uh, earlier that whatever it took to keep him... Whoa, 
what a backdrop out of that corner. Whatever it took to keep the title, he was prepared to do. He just wanted to warn Doug about it. And I could tell you, I believe him when he said something like that. So Doug may be feeling a forearm ripping up into those ribs uh, a little bit later on. We'll have to see how this goes. Yeah, we had uh, we had uh, uh, interviews with both of these guys last week, and Doug and Brian both agree they're not best friends. Uh, don't don't get them wrong. They're, they're competitors, and maybe don't predict they even like each other, even though they've ended up on the same side of the ring. A couple of times. Oh, good drop kick by Brian, the champion, with the upper hand right now, doing a little celebration, and that sort of insulted Doug Gilbert. He takes a double open-handed shot to the chest after Brian Christopher. Brian hanging back in the corner now. Brian Christopher, boy, look at that look on his face. <laughs> He's ready. I mean to tell you, talking about being best friends, when it comes down to titles and success in this business, that's the only friends that either one of these guys have, and this is going to fire up as Brian Christopher on a whip double dunk in. Look at Gilbert grabbed that rope and held up and caught him with the uppercut. Boy, he got it with a good right hand. He takes the swing and misses this time. Christopher doesn't miss. Three big right hands and Doug Gilbert knocks on his feet each time. Back in the corner. Christopher in there after the first by Gilbert. He's into the, oh, everybody down in the ring. Brian Christopher up on one knee. Doug Gilbert on hands and knees. The referee flat on the mat. Brandon Baxter comes running in here dangling the chain in front of Doug Gilbert. He's up on the ring apron. Doug takes the chain, wraps it around his fist. With it. Referee Bill, uh oh, Techno Team 2000, we just saw it earlier today, came in and that's going to require the bell to be sounded. Look at Brian Christopher coming to the aid of Doug Gilbert as the Techno Team, Troy and Travis, kicking away on Gilbert and Christopher, oh, Billy Jack Hayes. Going after Brian Christopher, he really bears that grudge that he took the match away fair and square. Troy and Travis working on Gilbert as Brian Christopher being hung from the ring rope by Billy Jack Haynes. And Brian Christopher Gilbert, and there's Christopher. Here comes Wolfie D and the Spellbinder. Out go Troy and Travis and Billy Jack Haynes nailed with that hubcap as they break it up. And poor Brian Christopher got strangled with that rope. And Doug Gilbert with his ribs the way they were when he started the match being stomped on by the big guys from the Techno Team 2000. What a shame we had a great match going, and then to have that thing interrupted, with Billy Jack finally coming out following Techno Team 2000, and just when we had a real dandy going, Dave. Yeah, Brian Christopher not in good shape either, as uh, Billy Jack had that rope hung around his neck, and Doug Gilbert was, was uh, Yelling, oh, my ribs, my ribs, as Wolfie helped him out of here. Uh, both of them worse for wear after that interference by Brandon Baxter and his bunch. We've still got plenty of action here on the USWA Championship Wrestling, and we're going to be back to it right after we take time out for this. our next bout single action here today on uswa wrestling making his way to the ring area 181 pounds from parts unknown the yellow jacket on the other side from the hood one half of the uswa champs whoopee d one ball ten minutes bill rossdale 
official referee for this one. Here we go, Lance and Dave. Oh, my goodness, we're being joined again by Brandon Baxter. It is not our pleasure. What kind of punishment is this, Dave? What did we do to deserve happening here uh, with him? I don't know. I have something I'd like to say. Speaking of PG-13, speaking of Wolfie Dean who's here in the ring, this little skinny little runt right here, we have a little bit of a problem here. J.C. Ice just didn't make it to TV. You know why? I believe it is because he is scared of Techno Team 2000. He heard I was going to bring him in and didn't want to have to face the competition. They want to hold on to those belts. They'll do anything. I think he's running scared, actually. Good moves by Wolfie D, showing you that he could wrestle. The Yellow Jacket was trying to turn it on him. Look at this. Take him up for the belly to back suplex and dumped him right down in the middle of the ring. Wolfie looking very good. I believe he is on his game, as he yes, said. Yes, indeed. Yellow Jacket, a dangerous wrestler for someone like Wolfie D, because you can tend to overlook him a little bit, and he can sneak up on you. Wolfie D not looking past him. He's got that right hand going. And I don't care what Brandon Baxter says. I don't know why J.C. Ice is not here, but I don't think it's because he's afraid of Brandon or any team he might bring in. Look here, Wolfie. He's very focused out. Go ahead and give him credit for that. Not as focused as Brandon Baxter. Not as focused as Techno Team Thousand. That right there is evidence. The Yellow Jacket taking advantage of a mistake by Wolfie D. This match could end right here. Well, it could, and that's the reason we're having it. Whoa! He popped that head back with that elbow. I mean, flipped him straight in the mouth. And that head snapped back. And look at the yellow jacket to the very top rope. Sails off and double axe handles him right smack in the head. He's going to stick to the of business and he's getting exactly what he deserves. He's going to get what's coming to him. I promise you. Yellow Jacket back up on the top rope. Wolfie D sees him this time and greets him with a closed right hand to the midsection. Hangs him right in the midsection, and now he is angered as he whips the jacket across the ring. Dishes that right hand right on the button and puts him down. Wolfie D, one of the boys of the hood, going to work on the Yellow Jacket, who again climbs to the ladder up to the top rope, and he is shaken off the top rope by Wolfie D. Oh. Super flex him right off those third buckles. One, two, three, that's all. Winner, Wolfie D. I hope you saw it, Brandon Baxter. I hope Techno Team Techno 2000 saw that one too, huh? Take time out. Be back in a moment. Another match coming up.